Everybody. We're so excited to show you our latest listing at 1735 and 1737 Beach Street in the Marina. This building is over 6,000 square feet. What I really love about it is the lot size. It's 39 feet wide by over 130 feet deep. There's a two-car garage at the end, and you've got a huge garage here with four-car parking. But what's also really cool about it is it's got an efficiency apartment in the back. Let me just show you through the gates here. Back to the backyard and the garage that I'm talking about that's separately built. This is a separate detached garage with two-car parking, and it would be easy to put another couple of cars back here. Now we're inside the efficiency apartment, which I believe is over 625 square feet. Full kitchen, bathroom, living room, bedroom with a huge closet. Putting French doors or sliders here going out to the backyard would really bring the outside in. There's a great backyard here with a fountain. So now I'm gonna turn this over to Butch Hayes who's gonna take you through the property and just show you how fabulous the finishes are. Thanks, Rick. Welcome to 1735 and 1737 Beach Street. I'm gonna take you to the upper unit first. The upper unit has three bedrooms, three and a half baths, and almost 3,000 square feet. The lower unit has two bedrooms, two and a half baths, and it's about 2,500 square feet. What does a place that's over 27 feet wide do? Well, one thing that you see right away is this gorgeous wide staircase leading you up to the main part. This place feels like a house to me. Right away, what you'll notice when you walk up to the main unit is just beautiful soaring ceiling height. The other thing that you'll notice right away is how wide this hallway is. You'll notice these Brazilian hardwood floors with a high gloss. You step into the formal living room area. You'll notice the size because they can fit a baby grand piano. I love these windows, just flooding light, floor to ceiling. Really unique to have here in the marina. Look at all this trim work. The previous owner was an artist plaster, so you're gonna see lots of textured plaster on the walls and the fireplace as well. This just takes you right into the, the dining room, very typical of this Mediterranean flow. I just wanna point out the light that floods into this unit because of the driveway that Rick pointed out earlier. There's not a building directly adjacent to us, which really blocks a lot of light. We just get flooded and flooded with light. Immediately when you walk into the kitchen, you notice how incredibly large it is. Look at all the space. You just don't see it anywhere in the marina. And right away, you see these beautiful Italian travertine floors, granite slab countertops with an OG edge, wine fridge, refrigerator, custom cabinetry, and this cherry finish. Some of the highlights of this kitchen obviously include the beveled Harlequin backsplash. On the ceiling is a beautiful tin finish by Ralph Lauren. A beautiful chandelier, recessed lighting throughout, an additional seating area, a six burner stainless steel Gen Air stove, and just off the kitchen is a little pantry, mud room area, and of course washer and dryer. We're coming out of the kitchen down to the bedroom wing. One of the first things that we have is a half bath right off the main entrance of the house. I keep saying house because it really gives you that feel that you're in a house. Now we have the full bath that services one of the bedrooms. And then come with me, this is our first bedroom. Next to the guest bedroom is the master suite. Take a look at the size of this master suite. And just off the master is the master bath. You're gonna see beautiful Kohler finishes, travertine floors, custom shower, and then additionally, we have this bonus area that they're using as a private office and lots and lots of closet space. Now I'm gonna take you upstairs to the kind of entertainment room and show you additionally all this expansion capability. This could easily be a third bedroom, but they use it as a media room surrounded by windows with great views of the entire city. This is the area about opportunity for expansion. So you can see right away, you have all this room here. You get to emulate exactly what your neighbor has. You can get almost a thousand square feet up here. So you could have this 
upper unit be up to 4,000 square feet. And when you get up here, you'll see you do get peekaboo views of Pacific Heights. And then here's a ladder, and if I get up on that ladder, I'm gonna give you panoramic views of the Golden Gate Bridge. Welcome to the lower unit, 1735 Beach. This unit is the exact replica of upstairs. The only difference, here you have the original kind of 20s flooring, but with this herringbone element that I absolutely love. The living room, tons of light, all these great windows, the dining room, same location, state-of-the-art kitchen, identical to upstairs. A chef's dream. Off the kitchen, because the stairs go up for the upper unit, the addition you have is this wonderful little playroom or storage area. And everything else is almost identical. Again, bedroom one, bedroom two, come on in. All right, well, the marina is one of the best locations in all of San Francisco. I absolutely love it. I live down here. Now we're gonna show you what this place is all about. This is why you live here, right out your front door. One of the greatest landmarks the world has ever seen, the Golden Gate Bridge. You have running, walking your dog, picnicking, everything, outdoor, social, it's all happening right here. When you're done with your run, here you are at Chrissy Field, where you can sail your boat, fly a kite, and in just two years, Larry Ellison is bringing the America's Cup. We're super excited about it. It is gonna be unbelievable for this area. Palace of Fine Arts, left over from the 1915 Pan Pacific World's Fair. Just blocks away from the house. It's just such a tranquil place where you can read, reflect. It's just gorgeous. I'll let you enjoy. Chestnut Street, another place to have coffee, hang out with your friends, go see movies. And here we are on Greenwich and Fillmore. We call this area the Triangle. The ideal place for brunch nightlife, and they call it the Triangle because there's a restaurant in every corner. Of course, you always can meet your friends at the Balboa. Just a block away, you have Union Street, one of the best streets in San Francisco. Full of shops, coffee shops, everything at your fingertips.